Um, so before I get started, I wanted to um, give you a little sense of what we've done here. So um, we have trained some big models using a cluster of GPUs. In this case, we uh, I, I've actually got two models, each of which was trained on eight GPUs for about four days on this large data set that Andrew was talking about to make um, an accurate speech recognition system. We're combining those together, so multiple models together to try to get the best possible result. And uh, so after we created this model, then uh, you know I loaded it onto a server uh, in Baidu and then just brought in my car over here, uh, stuck it underneath the table. And it has a GTX 980 that I'm using to actually run the transcription in real time. Um, so what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna play a couple videos for you and uh, in live, uh, and do a live transcription. So as I, as I play the video, you're gonna see uh, a result appear uh, streaming from our server uh, of what our system recognized from the video. And then once the video is over, I'm gonna take the entire audio clip and send it to a third party API. So this is a server that uh, actually I don't control. This is uh, just a public speech system on the internet, a really good one. And uh, we're gonna compare the results. Um, and then uh, after we do that, we're gonna add noise and see how the systems perform uh, in noisy environments. Um, my first clip, I loaded up Jensen from his keynote on Tuesday, so let's take a look. This topic of deep learning is probably one of the most exciting things that's happening in the computer industry. Arguably, there we go. So now going to the third party, okay, great. Um, so if we look at the transcriptions here, um, both of them do really well. Uh, the very end of the clip, uh, you know, got cut off a little bit, so so we won't look at that. But just uh, looking at the transcription, both of them did uh, fairly well. So now what I'm going to do is start adding noise, and I'm going to add noise from uh, a restaurant. So this is noise that uh, was recorded from a restaurant. So let's uh, turn it Okay, so I'm going to add it just a little bit. Hopefully you can hear it. there's just a little bit of noise. Let's run it again. This topic of deep learning is probably one of the most exciting things that's happening in the computer industry. Arguably... Okay, so deep speech did pretty well there. Uh, okay. The part of you guys starting to struggle a little bit. Uh, let's, let's turn it up even more. So I'm going to try to try to make it really hard. This topic of deep learning is probably one of the most exciting things that's happening in the computer industry. Arguably, great. Uh, so deep speech still did pretty well. Um, yeah, we're, we're starting to see a few more errors. Okay, great. So now I'm going to switch to a different clip here. So what I'm going to do is. Um, Bring up uh, another video. I'm gonna drop it in here. Right. Um, that turn off the, the noise. So this is um, Isaac Asimov, who's one of my very favorite science fiction authors, and he uh, one of his uh, uh, contributions to the to the world of robotics was the laws of robotics that describe how artificial intelligence should behave. So I'm gonna play him reading the uh, or, or telling us what the first law of robotics is. The first law is as follows. A robot may not harm a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Great. All right, I'll wait for the third party result to come in. Ah, uh, turns out this clip was just a little bit too long. Um, Sorry about that, but take take my word for it. The third party uh, API does really well on this clip without any noise. Okay, um, so now I'm going to turn up the noise again. Right. Let's see what happens. The first law is as follows: A robot may not harm a human being, or through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. <laughs> There we, there we have it. Um, I, I'd like to, um, you know, point out that uh, uh, 
the, the times that we really need speech recognition to work the, the most, when, when, I, when I really need speech to help me out, are times when we're in noisy environments. So I'm really excited about the work that we're doing to um, make these large neural networks and train them on the, um, large systems using many GPUs to, to really improve the ways that we can use speech recognition. Uh, thanks. That's, that's it.